It has been two months since Naya Rivera's death and the tragedy is really taking its toll, as you'd expect, on her five-year-old son, Josie, but also on her ex-husband, uh, Ryan Dorsey, who is now left with the uh, really sad and unenviable task of raising Josie uh, by himself. But he is getting some help um, from one of Naya's family members, which has created an issue, uh, a rumor that is going around, and it was so bad that Ryan decided he had to address that and a lot about what's going on in his life since uh, Naya's death. Uh, so here's what he said about the rumor, by the way, if you haven't heard it, is that he is dating Naya's sister. He says that is absolutely illogical and just stupid. It's, he's denying it, and he's explaining what is going on with her sister, and it's, it's pretty uh, heart-wrenching. I probably lost a little over 20 pounds. Um, I don't get good sleep. I'm sad every day. I wake up. I go to sleep sad. I think to myself how, how lucky I am to, to still have my mom and to have her help out in my life still. And, and then I think about how he won't have that same opportunity in his future. And then he asked me if TT can live with us. I want TT to live with us forever because she's now the closest thing that he has to a mom. It's not forever, it's a temporary situation. And after all he's had to go through, how. How could you deny him that? And because of what? Because uh, what some strangers might think or say or spew some hatred based on um, some ill-advised, illogical, uh, misinformed tabloid? Yeah, I mean, this is the consequence of social media and the media yeah. and everything else. It's like this poor guy is suffering, clearly, and... The whole family is. And so they bring Naya's yeah. sister in for comfort, and then people start attacking him. There were some photos that had surfaced of Nikayla, which is Naya's sister, and Ryan at the mall. It appeared like they were holding hands. And he addressed that, basically saying, you know, just it was a weird angle, and these girls were following them. But that they were there at the mall together to actually buy gifts for um, for Josie's birthday. For Josie, he had yeah recently turned five years old. Um, but the most heartbreaking part of this whole interview, or not even interview, this whole um, speech that he did basically was how hard it's been for him to explain to his son where Naya has gone. And at one point he said that Josie had asked, you know, where's mom? And Ryan told him, you know, mom's now in heaven. And Josie's response to that was, well, where's heaven? I want to go to heaven to see mom. So just little things like that that are just so heartbreaking to hear. And it seems like him and his family are doing the best that they can with the situation that they've been put in. Yeah, and it's not like people of any age can deal with this easily because they can't. Right. But geez, he's a young guy, never dealt with anything like this. This has rocked his world to the core. And it's just, it's like, God, I can't believe people would. Right, that, that, that this is the person that I know, you know, we talk a lot about the hate that is on the internet, but man, you'd think every now and then they just give someone nope. a pass. Nope. This seems to be a case yep. where you want to give the pass. Hi, I'm Linda, I'm from New York, and I think that Naya's sister moving in with them is a good thing because the boy needs a female figure in his life, but I think it's a shame that people are speculating that there may be a rom romantic relationship because the family's been through so much these past few weeks. They have been through so much. It's just, I don't know, this is just 